Well, people have a name for things. If they see a child draw pretty pictures right away, they think the child is gifted. Because that means I have the slightest idea how a six-year-old can draw a profile of a human being that looks so accurate. That's what they're saying when they say he's gifted. I have no idea of how that occurs. When a fish migrates thousands of miles to the spawning grounds, without mother fish opening up a map of the world, showing the fish how to get to the spawning grounds, they invented a word for that, instinct. It means I have the slightest idea of how these fish do that. Instinct is a dead word, noise, tells us nothing. But a word that says, I'm going to try to find out how it is that fish can do that. So they study the magnetic currents under the Gulf Stream, which the fish follow. Once you begin to know that birds can follow Earth magnetic currents, because if you strap a small magnet to a bird's head, he doesn't migrate, becomes confused. So it was called years ago a mechanistic point of view. And people hated that word. Mechanistic? I'm not a machine. I'm, some, I'm flesh and blood. I'm a thinking, feeling. They love that. And they moved away from the mechanistic point of view, which hurt society no end. It's a mechanistic point of view. All that it says is, look, you can't roll your eyes to the right unless there's a muscle and the nerve cells that feed that muscle. You can't twist your arm unless muscles run in that direction. That's all that a mechanistic point of view stated, that nothing occurs the mechanist also stated this, that nothing is self-activating. That's the most difficult thing for people to grasp. Trying to simplify that, a sailboat cannot sail, it is moved by the wind. A plant cannot grow, all that's nonsense, still exists today. A plant requires warmth, temperature, moisture, gravity. All of those things are, although you don't see the connection, they're all connected that living beings do not acquire knowledge or information through ethereal means. They acquire it by banging their head against a wall, slipping on ice, designing, then they design anti-slip systems. First you have to slip on the ice. No government, to my knowledge, ever anticipated the future and said, this is the direction we're headed in, let's prepare for social change. No, they try to keep things as they are.